Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm here to talk about a kit that I've been walking out of the house with more and more uh, while I practice photography doing this 365 day project. As part of the 365 day project, you need to go out every day. I like to take my X-Pro3 and my smaller primes out with me when I do uh, street photography and urban photography. When I leave the house, I only take one prime, and that's why this is a great EDC. I can take whatever lens happens to be on the camera and just take it out. And when I go out for landscape photography, I take my 16 to 55 2.8, which is on my X-H2 right now, and my 50 to 140 2.8. I usually have a plan for those, but there's this other style of photography that I really enjoy, and that's go out and shoot whatever catches your eye, <laughs> whatever you call that, whatever that kind of photography is. What I discovered with my, you know, with this camera was with the 26 megapixel sensor and whatever prime I had on with me, there were shots I left on the table. There were shots that I just couldn't get. You know, if something was too far away, there was no way I was gonna crop into it. When I, started putting this kit together, what I discovered was I really wanted a prime that I was very comfortable with that I could put on my X-H2 and leave the house with. But occasionally I'd find myself wanting a little more reach or um, a little more drama. And I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. What I landed on was Fujifilm's wonderful 23 millimeter 1.4 and Viltrox 75 millimeter 1.2. These lenses cover most of my bases. When I want my everyday, like the, the lens I'm most comfortable with, the focal distance I'm most comfortable with, which is 35 millimeters. This is a 23 millimeter on a crop sensor, so roughly 35 millimeters equivalent. This is my focal length. Like I recognize that now. I know some people really hate it. I've, I've seen plenty of YouTube videos where people say it's not far enough and it's not close enough. And, for me, it's perfect. I, I love this focal distance. So this is my, I put it on my X-H2 and I walk out of the house with it and I shoot most of what I'm looking for with this. I can shoot landscape, I can shoot street, urban, you know, night, dark, because it's, it's a 1.4, it's weather sealed. This is like, this is my go-to lens when it's on the X-H2 and I'm, I'm just driving around or walking around looking for those you know, shots that I'm after. But I discovered that I really like having this with me because there are some other kinds of shots, whether they be too far away from me at that time and I really wanna get closer. Of course, the 75 millimeter helps. It's about 112.5 or something like that. <laughs> that's, that's the uh, focal distance on a full frame. It's got great compression, so I can really do some interesting things with compression uh, when I'm trying to take a photo and I want, I want it to look, you know, more compressed. But some other things that I like to do with it is because it's a 1.2, I can do more art style photography where I'm not exactly after the photograph of the scene. I'm more after an element of the scene, you know, something more abstract. And I really like having a 1.2 for that. So, so this is really turning into something I use to, I would say, do more artistic kind of photography. And I really enjoy that. So between these two lenses, I feel that I've, I've got everything I need. And what I've discovered is it is a really easy kit to carry around and just have packed, ready to go. So I travel around with this wandered sling. I think it's a wandered rogue six liter. The zippers are all really nice. Um, it's weather sealed, weather proof. I'm not sure if it's waterproof, but it's definitely water resistant. So it's a, a very simple bag. I just keep my body with a lens on. So in my main compartment, I have my X-H2 with the uh, 23 millimeter in like that. I can't show you the X-H2 because I'm using it. <laughs> I have my uh, Viltrox lens to the side and then I can put my Pocket 3 and my uh, accessories and they all fit inside the bag perfectly. So that was actually something I was looking for when I discovered the Wandered 
was that it was longer, right? That's what I was looking for, was a, a sling bag that was a little longer than some of the other slings, like the Peak Design one was more of a square. And I also like how this opens all the way. Uh, the Peak Design one <laughs> was really weird the way it opened. I was constantly, I felt like I was fighting with the bag to get my stuff out. This one just opens up real nice. And when it's up, you know, on your chest or next to you, it's really easy to just use it as a shelf. So switching out lenses, things like that is really nice. And this is it. This is my kit. I have this bag just hung on my uh, garage door doorknob. And anytime I want to go out, I literally, you know, I'll be done with work for the day and I can just grab this and get in my car and drive around. I just let light and um, mood strike me and I'll, I'll chase those photos. One of the things that I really love about having two focal lengths that are of these different sizes is going to a scene and seeing something really interesting and taking a photo with both. So I can get the scene the way I would frame it, the way I would see it, and I can try it again using the 75. And I'm often surprised. They, they complement one another. They, they really help me figure out what it is in the scene I was trying to get. And sometimes it is more compressed. Sometimes it is um, more detail in the distance. And so having both of these has been just a, a really great everyday walking around kit. And having this packed, ready to go, really just lends itself to going out and getting the photos. You know, the whole point of all of these things is to get out more. I wanna get out more, I wanna practice more, I wanna do it more. Why? Because I love it. I could do this for the rest of my life, and that's very few things you can. Anyway, that's my what I, <laughs> I don't know, that's my, how I go out and just shoot whatever the heck I happen to come across uh, lens and body kit. And uh, I hope that you got some enjoyment out of this or it sparks some ideas of your own. Please feel free to leave comments and tell me what you take with you every time you leave. Um, you know, most of this is just me trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. And yeah, so I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you, bye.